What's up guys, I'm back with another video on how to use LumaFusion on the iPad Pro. In the last video, I actually showed how to edit and bring in footage and stuff like that. In this video, I wanna focus on color grading, importing LUTs, and doing more effects inside of LumaFusion. That last video was getting pretty long, so I figured I'd split it up across two videos. And if you stumbled across this video and you're not a subscriber, this is how to use LUTs and color grade inside of LumaFusion. So let's get into it. So we ended up with my edit. Everything was shot in log, so nothing is color graded. It's really flat right now. And basically what I want to do is show you guys how to at least adjust the colors before you actually import LUTs or other things like that. So I'm going to go back closer to the start and we'll pick one clip and we'll just work on that for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on this clip. We're going to double click it. That brings us into the clip properties. So in here you can actually do stuff like rotations and scaling if you want to scale the clip up. Um, I think you can do pinch to zoom to scale it. Yeah, so you can scale it in like that. You can rotate it, you can do different things like that. So if you wanna reframe the shot, say you weren't level, I don't wanna use what I just did, so I'm gonna undo it by clicking this back arrow here. I guess I made a few steps. Okay, now we're back to the beginning. But uh, I actually do remember one clip that was kind of a little bit off. Um, it actually was probably this last shot. So if we wanted to straighten out the shot, we'll double click it. And I'll rotate this till the horizon is level. So somewhere in there. Now you can see black around the edges because the frame's not big enough to fill. So what you wanna do is you can scale that up, two finger pinch, and now you've basically leveled off the shot. So we go back. Now the shot looks nice and level. So cool thing is you can actually copy the attributes of the clip. So in order for me to get the next clip to actually be the same, I'd have to copy all these settings. Kind of takes a little bit of time, but you can click this little clipboard here and click copy. Let me go back. Let me go to this clip, double click it. And then we can go to this little clipboard here and we can paste the attribute. So we go paste and now it's going to rotate it and scale it the same as the last clip. So when we play it back here, there should be a nice smooth transition. You shouldn't even see a cut. See, so yeah, now it's perfect. All right, let's go back to color grading. I got off topic a little bit there. So we'll start off with this clip, double click. And if you see this little option here, this gives us options to change color. So it comes with a bunch of preset different colors. We've got, you know, some of this stuff, high contrast, different things like that. And basically you can make your own settings in here. You can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, the colors and stuff like that, and then save your preset out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with one that just says vibrance. And this clip is really flat, so it needs a bunch of contrast. So we're gonna bump the contrast up a tiny bit. We're gonna bump the saturation up a bit. Make it a little bit more vibrant. And the highlights, I wanna pull back a tiny bit. And the shadows, we can pull out a tiny bit too. So this was log footage, so I have a little bit more room to play with dynamic range when it comes to highlights, and the same when it comes to shadows. But I want to keep a bit of that shadow in there just to give it that dramatic effect. And I'm going to start shifting the colors towards the red tones. So as you can see, that starts bringing the skin out a little bit better. And that's pretty good. I might bring the brightness up a tiny bit and pull the contrast up a bit more. And that's not looking too bad. Now, if you want to see a before and after, you can click this little eye here. So that's before the log footage, and then this is the graded footage. Color corrected. I guess it's grading. So you can save this preset here by clicking this little star and plus logo. Click here where it says effect two. And we can just call it grade one done. And then save preset. And now it'll be in your preset folder here. You can see grade one here. Some other stuff that I've been playing around with in here, obviously for different video clips that I was working on. But grade one is the one we're gonna use. So go back out. Now we can select our next clip, double click it. We can select the color and effects option here. Then go to the star, this is where your save presets are and we're gonna click grade one. And so now it's grading it with the settings that I had for the previous clip and that looks pretty good. As you can see, it plays back really smooth with grading on top of it. This is all 4K video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually take these back off and then show you how to import LUTs. So if you wanna delete corrections, you go over here to this little drop down menu and just hit the trash can and then all the settings come off. We're gonna do it to the next clip. 
All right, so you can download all kinds of different LUTs and save them to Google Drive. I actually made my own LUTs in Premiere and exported them and uploaded them to my Google Drive. So I'll show you how to do that. You go to this little icon here, and then it says Import Presets and LUTs. We're gonna go to Google Drive, and I made a folder called iPad Pro Tests. And you can see here, I have a couple of different .cube files, and these were exported out of Premiere. Uh, you can basically import any kind of LUTs. There's lots of different LUT packs. I actually have a bunch that I've made. Maybe I'll put those up for sale someday. I don't know. I want to work on them and make them a little bit tighter. If we import this one here, the 60 FPS C Log 3 LUT, this is actually for the 60 FPS footage that I have in here. So we'll click on that. It's going to download that LUT. And now it applied the LUT to the footage. So you can see here before and after. So this LUT's actually a little bit more dynamic than what you can actually make inside the iPad. And that's because I have way more options inside of Premiere using Lumetri. All right, so now I'm gonna import another LUT for a different clip that used a different type of profile. Obviously I shot this stuff in RAW, but some other stuff like this, I didn't shoot in RAW. This is just MP4, 120 FPS. So we're gonna import some LUTs that I made for this because they have a different color profile. I also exported those out of Premiere. So we'll double click the clip. We're gonna click on this. And we're going to go to the import icon. And I have two other LUTs in here, so we're going to try LUT 2. I can't remember which one works for this clip. So that one works for this clip. So we go back out. We'll apply it to this clip as well. Okay, so if you want to save these LUTs, into your actual preset folder. You click the little star, and we're gonna call this LUT. So we're gonna save that preset. So when we go back, these clips should match up better now. Okay, so this is also a 120 FPS clip. Now I could copy the attributes, but, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna import this. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I already saved the LUT, so I can bring it in here. There we go. Cool, so I'm just gonna quickly go through, apply all the LUTs to the clips, and then when we come back, I'll show you the crop bar thing and a couple other effects. Okay, so now I've got all the LUTs applied. There's a couple clips that don't really work. Uh, these were a little bit overexposed, I think and this was a little underexposed. So we can go in and fix the color here by changing some settings. So we need to lower the exposure and add a little bit of green and orange to this shot. So just click Vibrance and then here we can change some of the settings. So we're gonna lower the brightness down a little bit. Lower the highlights back a little bit. Then I slowly add some more red to the shot and some yellow to the shot and also some green to the shot. And I think we need to add a bit more saturation. So I need to add a little bit more green. Now this isn't as easy to color grade as on like a computer, but it's still pretty cool that you can do this. And I think with more updates, the color grading is gonna get a lot better. So I'm gonna save these attributes and apply it to the clip after. Click here, click copy, go to the next clip, double click it. Go down here, click the little clipboard, and then hit paste. Now I think I may have added too much green to it, but I'll leave it like that for now. Now this next clip I find is a little bit too dark and a little bit too blue. So we're gonna add vibrance to it. Back off the contrast a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of green to it and some more yellows. And bump the brightness up a tiny little bit. Now I really wanna match the skin tone. The skin isn't yellow enough in this shot. Go in here and adjust this a bit. Now I could go back into Premiere, adjust the LUT and export it back, but that's just too much work. So it's good to be able to adjust it on here. All right, so that's just some basic color grading. So now I wanna show you a few effects. We're gonna double click this clip. 
Now there's a bunch of stuff you can do in here. You can flip this if you want to. You can rotate it. But if we go in here to the settings, click this little cube. Uh, there's a couple other options in here. I noticed that they've added Filmic Pro D-Log. So using Filmic Pro, the app, they've actually got an expansion pack that you can pay a little bit more for it. And you can shoot log with your iPhone or the iPad. Uh, I found that it's really noisy and doesn't work too well, but it's cool they've added an option in here to use D-Log so it'll auto apply. Something to get you out of a flat picture profile and something you can already have sort of half graded. You can add vignetting. You can adjust the amount you want. We're not going to use that. A bunch of other different weird effects. I wouldn't use any of this stuff. But as you can see, you can double them all up, triple them up. But we're not going to use that. In here, you can do some blurring and different things like that. So if you wanted to blur the shot a little bit. Cool thing is you can apply keyframes to any of these effects. Play it ahead a little bit. Add your next keyframe. And basically that will blur between two points. So that's your start point. And then this will be your end point. So now when it plays, it'll blur it. We're not going to do that. We can delete that. You pretty much do that with any effect. It's really similar to Premiere and Final Cut. Unsharpening. Zoom, so you can like change the amount you want to zoom in and out so you can do some cool transitions. I'm not going to use this. So as I said, I was going to put crop bars on this. I actually made a PNG file in Premiere. If we go to the imported files, this is it down here. Click, drag it to the timeline. So as you can see, it added crop bars to it. And this is just going to level out some of the shots that were in UHD and some were in full 4K. Now I think these bars are too big so I'm going to double click on them. And I'm going to scale them out a little bit. Something like that. I'm going to zoom the timeline out by pinching. I'm going to drag this clip all the way out. Now if you want to watch it on full playback you double click the monitor window and you can watch it back full quality here. Anyway, that's basically color grading, adding in LUTs on LumaFusion. It's in the App Store. I can't remember how much it is. I'll put a description down here how much it is. This isn't a sponsored video. It's a really awesome editing app. It's way better than iMovie in my opinion. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one.